Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here, I'm going to bring you a, another forum talk video today. I haven't done one of these in a while, but these are videos where I look at a forum thread on the DDO.com forums and talk about it. So I, I tend to pick out ones I think are particularly in interesting. This one's called Idea for XP Beyond Cap. And I thought it was interesting because it kind of hints at something that uh, really is a downside of staying at cap and playing your character at cap, which is what I tend to do. It's called Idea for XP Beyond Cap, so let's read what this poster had to say. Suggestion to devs for capped level 30 characters who have filled their destinies. Why not allow additional XP accumulation to be used towards a turn-in at a vendor similar to the Remnant Collector for special trinkets or perm permanent buff points, say 40 million XP for plus one to some stat, ability M MRR, uh, PRR, or resistance, for example. Yeah, he this is not something I agree with, uh, I guess I'll say off the bat, but uh, this is one of the things that's probably the main downside of staying at cap is you run all these quests uh, for XP and a lot of that XP um, goes to waste essentially. So n not things like say, you know, Reaper XP, obviously there's Reaper, Reaper XP uh, doesn't go to waste. I mean, unless, unless you've reached the max, I, I don't know actually what the max is, um, but it's a huge, huge long grind. So, I mean, I'm, I don't think most people are going to uh, have that as a consideration, but uh, yeah, but for the most part, say say if you're sitting at level 30 and just like running stuff for fun or just running stuff for gear, like say you're running through Sharn, all that XP, uh, you're not, it's just going to waste because obviously there's no level 31. You, you're Once you get to 30, you can't accumulate more XP. Now this is unlike players who say maybe have Epic TR or something. If they if they've epic TR'd and they're grinding say gear as well as leveling, they're getting uh, a double bonus to that. So they're both grinding the gear and they're they're accumulating that XP and it's being used for something. It's going towards that past life. So they would have t epic TR'd and they're getting back up to cap. Um, so they they're using that XP. They're getting in the quest for a permanent advantage, unlike say uh, a cap player who's just sitting at 30 they're just going after the year they're not getting anything else for that xp so uh, you know that that's one thing that i think a lot of people can look at if they're just sitting at level 30 and be like man why am i wasting my time sitting at 30 i should be if i'm going to be running the content i may as well be tring or epic tring or iconic tring but at the same time, people like to have their, uh, you know, they like to be at level 30, at least I do, because I like to have the full potential of my character at cap. But uh, despite this being kind of a frustration, it's definitely not something we should do anything about, in my opinion. So like this person mentioned, say like additional XP can be go towards something. I mean, maybe cosmetics or something, but as far as like actual power growth bonuses, no. Um, the, 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 I guess a couple of reasons. I mean, I mentioned Reaper already. Reaper is sort of a solution to this because you can run Reaper stuff at level 30 with, uh, you know, and accumulate Reaper XP that way. Um, also, uh, one of the problems with, say, introducing rewards like this is that rewards can make it seem required. So, like, we already have enough grind in DDO, and if you add things like, say, plus on to a stat for all this extra XP above 30, it just it increases the grind. I mean, there has to be an end somewhere. There has to be a wall somewhere to the grind. I mean, at some point, XP is going to have to go to waste because XP can't just grow infinitely. So even if you put something in like this, this doesn't even solve what this uh, what uh, you know uh, this poster might see as the problem. What it would do is it would just extend the I guess the, the the zone until you get to the end again so you hit that wall because what what, what are the players going to do after they've they've achieved that say 40 million extra XP at level 30 we're going to add more I mean at some point you have to have a wall and say okay DDO is only going to have so much grind we have to put a wall and we have to end it so uh, another thing is uh, this actually would if this kind of if this was instituted, it would actually shut the door on level cap, a level cap raise. Uh, I mean, if, if they instituted a, 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 I don't know what you'd call, I guess, a system where you get more XP after uh, above level 30, what if they want to increase the level cap to level 32 in a few years? I don't think they should, but what if they want to? That would kind of close the door to that because we already have a system 
for introducing XP above level 30. And essentially this would work effectively sort of like a, a, a soft level cap increase, essentially, if something like this uh, were to happen. Uh, also, another solution to this is, of course, I've already mentioned before, but you can eat TR or Epic TR, and I think that's probably the best reason why something like this shouldn't, we, we shouldn't have like any other system for, for using XP that you might accumulate at 30 other than letting it go to waste is we already have a system of reincarnation that solves this problem. Uh, of course, when you re reincarnate, you can't stay at level 30, so your character gets weaker, but uh, you know that's just kind of the way it goes. <laughs> It's just this is the system that's that's already put in to make replay value happen, and uh, also I mean not that this would be the main reason, but another reason is uh, it's a it's a very good way to monetize. So players can buy hearts, uh, p p players can buy like boosters and things to level uh, through you know like through through epics again and stuff, and that's one of the reasons one of the ways SSG supports the game is through reincarnation. So I don't think. Uh, like a system like this would be a good idea because it would kind of go get compete against monetization. Now there's probably some ways that they could monetize XP after after cap like this if something like this were to go into effect. So I mean like XP potions, I was I assume things like that would still go into effect, but I don't think it could be monetized as well as say like actual reincarnation. I think what a suggestion like this is really like a system like this is really want, looking to do is let let you reincarnate without having to go down in levels and without getting your character weaker. Um, but also I think it's good that there's a limit. I mean, we have a d defined endpoint as far as XP you can accumulate because uh, there's two different ways, to, to, two different like end games for DDO. You can either reincarnate or you can stay at level cap. And I, I like the fact that there are two defined end games and you can pick which one. And if you enjoy one, you can stay with that or you can switch on and off if you get, say if you get bored of playing the cap and running raids and stuff you can switch off and go say run a run an epic uh, tr real quick you know and, and spend a week doing a week or two doing that so it's good you can switch between the two and i like there being two different systems and i wouldn't want there to be any kind of way to kind of uh, infinitely grind xp at cap because there, there does need to be an end to that at some point and we also do have reaper which is an optional part of the game i mean quickly becoming um, feeling less optional, but still an optional part of the game. But yeah, I guess that's my main thoughts on this. So let's just kind of scroll down through the thread, and it's not very long, and look at some of the responses. So yeah, the first person here points out that I think they want people to TR. So yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, they don't want people to... The reincarnation system is... I, I don't know, just guessing, because obviously I can't find their SSG is a private company. I can't see how much they make from TR, but I would assume that selling hearts and things in the store is a really good way, is, is one of the best ways that they, they have to, to monetize the game. So yeah, I think they want people to TR. <clears throat> and this next person points out, but um, affirmative, but even when even those are done, done, what then? So that's the problem. It's like you have to have an end point to the grind somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, this next person mentions that Reaper XP already feel, fills this role. This next person says your system, uh, your your proposal here is essentially just additional levels by another name. And yeah, I, I think it essentially would be, because again, you're just uh, you're just basically doing a soft level cap increase. But with that, I mean, you're basically doing a a level cap increase, but not not increasing levels and getting, I guess, a smaller portion of power increase, I guess, compared to what you would get otherwise if it's just like one plus one to skill for 40 million XP or whatever. And I think that another thing to point out is, you know, Reaper XP is a really, really, really long grind. I think that's completely sufficient grind for people who want to stay at cap and just grind XP. You can grind Reaper XP. Let's see. Yeah, and I think the one thing about, about level 30, one thing that this this next poster mentions that keeps level 30 interesting is people will, will often feel like, okay, I've reached level 30, I've got my gear, so what then? My character's done. Well, that's, that's why we have new updates. <laughs> There's going to be new stuff to grind for, new stuff to go after, and that's that's one thing that's that's I'm glad they do. And sometimes they've gone too far with it, say with like outdating gear the very next update, but I think if they kind of let gears 
um, stay relevant for like a year or two. That's like a good, that's a good, uh, I guess, balance. So I think they generally have done a good job with that. So like look at Ravenloft gear. Ravenloft gear is still really good. And Ravenloft's been out since what, December 2017, I think. Yeah, so I mean, there's been, uh, they've done a pretty good job with some of these things. And hopefully Sharn, I think the Sharn gear, I, I hope will still be really good for at least another year. So I, I think we're okay with that. And, and also there's still, there's also new past lives, this person points out. Um, so that's something you can do as an optional, you know, if you get bored of staying at level 30. Of course, I guess that's not really what the original poster is asking, but whatever. Okay, let's kind of scroll down. This person mentioned something about um, they don't like ETRing because they have to they have to work with like lower level gear, which, you know, I mean, that's part of the part of the reincarnation. That's part of leveling. Yeah, I mean, I guess the alternative, which I saw mentioned uh, on the forums before, is like, what if we what if we just made all gear minimum level 20 like all level 30 20 to 30 gear and that actually wouldn't be a good thing because it would instantly uh, make like 90 percent not like pretty much like tons and tons of gear outdated and would also uh, build on that problem because a lot of like a lot of gear would would uh, you know like gear that's level 28 like wouldn't have a purpose you know gear that's min level 25 wouldn't have a purpose so I, I don't know if I like that idea. So you guys, yeah, guys, I think that's about it for uh, for this this topic. But I thought it was kind of interesting to think about and talk about. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously, I don't think we should I implement any kind of system where we have uh, a way to to benefit from XP, like not Reaper XP, but just regular XP uh, past level 30. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. You have a good one and take care. Mm -hmm.